Hello everyone and welcome to Onik News. In today's topic we talk about the top 5 hot news of June 2024. This channel provides you with the latest K-pop and Korean related news every day, so make sure to hit the subscribe button for the latest news and trends. Today's video is sponsored by the new wave DGOD Din Hasty Clothing. Grab their free shirts giveaway by following them on Instagram at Din Hasty Clothing and comment which shirt you like from their website www.dinhastyclothing.com. So let's get it started. Song Il Cook's triplets, Dae Han, Min Gook, and Man Se, have captured the hearts of Korean netizens once again with their recent appearance on the popular television show, You Quiz on the Block. The triplets, who gained fame as toddlers on the reality show, The Return of Superman, appeared as special guests in the June 26 teaser for the next episode, surprising viewers with how much they have grown. A short clip released on the show's official Instagram account showed Dae Han, Min Gook, and Man Se walking confidently onto the film set. The video quickly went viral, sparking a wave of nostalgia and amazement among fans. The episode with the triplets will air on July 4. Korean netizens commented. Why are they so tall? Today's takeaway both Song Il Kook and his wife are tall so the kids are tall. Unknown. Today's takeaway it seems like just yesterday that Min Gook was crying at the Korean school, they grew up so much. Unknown. Wow. BTS's Jimin announced his solo return with a new album. On June 18th at midnight KST, the singer released a teaser image for his upcoming solo album, Muse. According to the teaser image, Jimin will release his forthcoming album on July 19th at 1 p.m. KST. Former AOA members Sol Hyun and Jimin were spotted at a sporting event together. On June 12th, the sighting of Sol Hyun and Jimin went viral online as many netizens have been wondering how the two have been doing. Jimin in particular received a lot of criticism after former member Mina's allegations that Jimin bullied her during their time as AOA members, and the issue became a huge trending topic. Jimin has since moved on with a solo music career, but many have yet to forget her past controversy. The photos below of Jimin and Sol Hyun at a sporting event went viral on Instas with the poster writing, Awa Jimin's whereabouts. The passage of time is frightening, referring to Jimin's appearance. Other netizens commented, she's living well, Awa Jimin's whereabouts. The passage of time is frightening, Baby and monster Asa has recently become the center of attention among Korean netizens, thanks to her striking Y2K fashion in her latest photos. The young idol showcased a series of outfits that perfectly encapsulated the early 2000s aesthetic, blending nostalgia with modern flair. In the photos, Asa is seen wearing a Y2K-inspired outfit with a tight vest and a herringbone hat. Korean netizens praised Asa for depicting the Y2K look. They commented, Wow, her outfit and her figure are just perfect. Wow, this is the perfect Y2K. I love Asa. Wow. She looks stunning. She looks so good. This is what I wanted to see from a YG girl group. I love it. I love Asa the BTS most. member Jin has explained and apologized for the controversy surrounding the 2024 FESTA free hug event. Jin completed his military service and was discharged from active duty in the army on the morning of the 12th. He enlisted in the key recruit training battalion of the 5th Infantry Division in Yanchen, Jonggi Province, on December 13, 2022, and served as an active duty army instructor. Jin is the first BTS member to be discharged, drawing significant attention. Jin was welcomed back by his fellow members, who took special leave to greet him, and he then moved to the HYBE headquarters. At around 11.30 a.m. KST, he engaged with armies through a live broadcast on the fan community platform Weverse. On the following day, June 13, Jin will attend the 2024 FESTA 
held at the Jamsil Sports Complex in Seoul to meet with armies. The offline event includes two fan events at the indoor gymnasium, Jin's Greetings, Part 1, 3 p.m., and, June 13, 2024, Sokjin, Clear Weather, Part 2, 8 p.m. Initially, Jin's Greetings was announced as a free hug event, sparking debate due to the additional purchase of albums required for entry. In response to the controversy, Big Hit issued an apology and revised the entry conditions, stating we apologize once again for the additional purchase condition for the Jin's Greetings event at 2024 Festa. Jin emphasized that the free hug event was his idea. He explained I came up with a good idea but received a lot of criticism. I brought the initial proposal myself and insisted on proceeding alone. Initially, they said no to the free hug event. He continued, the staff was concerned that too many people would gather and someone might get hurt. However, I insisted on doing the free hug event for a month. The company persuaded me by highlighting the potential risks, so we suggested holding it indoors with a selected number of attendees. Jin initially planned for 3,000 people to participate in the free hug event. He added, the company opposed it, so I mentioned 2,000, but that was also difficult. Ultimately, we settled on 1,000. Addressing the issues with the album purchase requirement, Jin said the company opposed it, so I mentioned 2,000, but that was also difficult. Ultimately, we settled on 1,000. And bowed his head in apology. What do you think about it? Please let us know in the comments. This video was sponsored by DGOD Din Hasty Clothing. Don't forget to grab your free shirt by following them on Instagram at Din Hasty Clothing and comment which shirt you like from their website www.dinhastyclothing.com. Subscribe to our channel and get the latest K-pop and Korean related news every day. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.